parents, are you looking for Baba Blast swag, merch, and products, and a way to help out the channel? Well, visit babablast.com and shop our shop. That's right, Blaster. Thanks for your support. Whoa, Blaster, where are we? Oh, but there's an empty seat next to us. So who's that for? Okay, yeah, show me. Oh, it's my dog, Callie. Hi, Callie. Well, what are we doing here today with Callie, Blaster? A mystery box filled with toys, treasures, games, and activities? This sounds like a great way to have fun and learn some stuff. Baba Blast. <laughs> All right, well, where is this mystery box? Callie, do you have it? Callie doesn't have it. Okay, Blaster, mystery box, please. Oh, the mystery box, Blaster. And there's a lot of feathers coming out. Wow, is it time to open it? All right, let's see what's inside. Are you ready, Callie? Whoa, look at this, a feather boa. Beautiful. How do I look, Blaster? <laughs> oh, you want me to put it on Callie? Okay. Here you go, Cal. Oh, very nice. Beautiful, Callie. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, wait a minute. A magician's wand and a little cup with nothing in it. I don't know what this is. What do you think, Callie? She doesn't know either. Well, let's try some magic, shall we, Blaster? Abracadabra! <laughs> it worked, Blaster. How cool. A little plant. I love the little magic. Awesome. Ooh. Well, what is this? Oh, it needs to be blown up. Okay, here we go. How many breaths do you think this will take? One. That's right, it only took one breath. That was pretty easy. And what do we have? Meow, 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 a guitar. Bum, 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 bum. I love music, Blaster. Is there any more musical instruments in this mystery box? I think there is. What is this called? Oh, a maraca. I love this one. And there's another musical instrument in here. Ooh, is this a recorder? Or maybe a wooden flute? Let's play it. I don't know if Callie likes my flute playing. Sorry, Callie. <laughs> oh, I know our friend is going to love this next one, Blaster. It's bum, 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 the Dimetrodon. You wanna see, Cal? Yeah. Blaster, can we learn more about this animal? Okay, here we go. True or false, the Dimetrodon is one of the oldest dinosaurs. The answer, false. The Dimetrodon isn't a dinosaur at all. It is considered a prehistoric reptile. And this prehistoric reptile became extinct millions of years before the first dinosaur ever walked on the earth. The Dimetrodon had two types of teeth, large sharp canines towards the front of the jaw that were used to grasp and dig into their prey, and shearing teeth toward the back of the jaw that could be used to crush the hard bones and muscles of their dinner. But the Dimetrodon is probably best known for the large sail coming out of the top of its back. Look at that. Scientists believe that this giant sail acted as a heating and cooling system. The sail would collect heat from the sun during the day and then expel heat at night. Pretty cool, Dimetrodon. Can we spell Dimetrodon together? Let's do it. D I M E T R O D O N Dimetrodon. Nice job. All right, we'll put them with our other surprises. 
Whoa, look at her. Oh, she's beautiful. A mermaid. Mermaids are awesome. Don't you think, Callie? <laughs> she likes the mermaid too. Blaster, what's next in the mystery box? Whoa, what are these? Open them and close them and see what happens. Okay, Blaster, whatever you say. Whoa! Whoa! And now what if I close it? Can you guys hear that? That's fun. These are awesome! These were awesome, Blaster. They made different sounds and can go all different shapes and sizes. We can have a lot of fun with these. Cool toy. Hey, parachute guys. These are really fun. Do you know what you do with these? Well, you have to go someplace pretty high and then when you let them go, they'll fall to the ground, but a parachute will come out to slow them down. Eh can't really show you here. I think we need to go somewhere else. Blaster, shall we? Oh, whoa! Blaster, we are really high up. Whoa! All right, we have our parachute individuals ready for the race. Who do you think is going to win? The green, the yellow, or the red? Here, Blaster. I'm gonna put you right on the ledge. Be careful. There you go. All right, let's see who wins. Green, yellow, red in three, two, one. Wow! Oh, it was a three-way tie. They all made it at the exact same time. Blaster, that was so cool. Should we try it again? All right, let's go. It was a tie last time, but let's see who wins this time now that the wind has picked up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go. Wow. Oh, look at the green one. Red got to the ground first. The yellow is in second. And the green, he didn't even make it. Let me help him out. Here you go, Mr. Green. All right. They all made it to the ground. This was fun, Blaster. Let's go back to our mystery box. Oh, it was fun playing with these. All right, I'm going to put them all together and we'll save them for later when we want to play with them again, Blaster. Nice. Well, we only have a few more items left in our mystery box. Why don't we go with this one? Oh, it has red liquid in there and green liquid and it falls down. It's like a little timer. Can you guys see it at home? Blub, 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 blub. Callie, you want a closer look? Pretty cool. Only a few more items left. Blaster, what is this? A deck of cards? What do you mean this isn't a deck of cards? Oh, it's a tongue twister. New word alert, new word alert, tongue twisters. These are really fun. Tongue twisters are a series of words that when you say them really fast are really hard to say. So let's try one of them. You want to? Okay, let's try this one. This one is snake, seek, snacks. 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 Snake, that's why it's called a tongue twister. Shall we try another one? All right, Callie, you choose this one. That one? Okay. Callie chose cows chew cud. Cows chew cud. Now this one's a little easier. Let's say it together. We'll start slow and then we'll get faster. Cows chew 
cut again. Cows chew cud. 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 I got pretty fast. How fast can you say it? That's really fast. Good job. Tongue twisters are fun, Blaster. Thanks for including these in our mystery box. I'll put them back in their case so that they're nice and ready to go for later. Only a few more items, Blaster. Ooh, and I see something that I think a lot of people will like. Have you seen a skateboard before? Well, I bet you haven't seen one like this. This is a fingerboard. It's a skateboard that you use your fingers with. Whoa! Hey, I flipped it over. Whoa! Woo! Hey, the skateboard can play on the mystery box. Nice, Blaster. We'll have fun with this later. There's only one more item in this mystery box. Let's get it. Are you ready? Three. Two, set, one, go! Oh, this looks like something that could fly. I bet there's an on button somewhere. Let me find it. Oh, I found it. Ooh, it lights up. And it spins! Callie, what should we do with this? All right, I'm gonna let it go and see what happens. Here we go! Oh, it fell right into the bush. That's okay. All of these were really fun. And I had fun learning about new animals and doing some fun activities with you. What was your favorite part? That was a good part. Hey, Callie, what was your favorite part? Was it this boa? You look fabulous, let me just tell you. <laughs> it was so fun to have you here. And Blaster, thanks for our fun mystery box. We'll see you on the next one, and we hope you had a Bob Bob blast. Bye for now. <laughs> hey there, we have a mystery box to dig into, but I'm having some problems. I can't open it, Ooh. the latch is too strong, but I know somebody that can help us. Hey, Blaster. The Blaster. It's so good to see you. <laughs> Could you help us open this mystery box? Hey, thanks Blaster. Let's see what's inside. Oh, look at all these balls in here. There's tons, Blaster. There's lots of fun things in here. Woo! All right, what's our first thing we're gonna pull out? Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's a tie. These go around your neck. And then you can tie them up, kind of like this. I'm not gonna do a great job, but just to show you how they look. And then, you can have a nice tie on your neck. How do I look, Blaster? All right. Now take a closer look on the tie. On this tie, we have the periodic table. The periodic table shows all of the elements on our planet. I think my favorite element is O, which stands for oxygen. But this isn't the only type of tie there is. In fact, in the mystery box, I see another tie. A bow tie! These go around your neck too. And they look like this. How do I look in this one, Blaster? Okay, I'll let you wear it. Here you go. The Blaster's bow tie. Looking pretty good, Blasty. 
How does that look? <laughs> nice plaster. Okay, you can wear it for a little bit. Let's see what else is in the mystery box. Ooh. Do you know what these are called? Well, if you said binoculars, you're correct. Binoculars help us see things that are really far away. Hey there, hey there. You wanna see what it looks like when you look through binoculars? Well, blaster, why don't you show them? Three, two, one. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, pretty cool. Let's see what else is in the mystery box. Oh, this animal is one of my favorites. It can live on the land and it spends a lot of time swimming in water. Do you know what type of animal this is? <laughs> That's right, it's a hippo. Let's spell hippo. H-I-P-P-O. Hey, that's kind of fun to spell. H-I-P-P-O. H-I-P-P-O. Hippo. Hey, Blaster, can you teach us more about these cool animals? All right, here we go. The hippopotamus, or hippo, is the third largest land mammal. The second largest land mammal is the white rhino, and the number one spot belongs to elephants. But enough about that, let's get back to hippos. These land mammals love the water, typically spending 16 hours in the water each day. These handsome hippos are able to hold their breath for five minutes, making them exceptional swimmers. Wow, it looks hot where hippos live. All that time in the hot sun would cause most of us to end up with burned skin. But not for a hippo. Hippos produce a red liquid that act as a natural sunblock. And now it's time for Gross Trivia. Here's your question. What is another name for hippo poop? Is it A, bung, B, dung, C, fung, or D, hippos don't poop. The correct answer is dung. Animal poop is sometimes referred to as dung. And on that note, Blaster, let's get out of here. Hippos are totally tubular, man. All right, what else is in this mystery box? Oh, whoa, what does this thing do? It'll suck up water and then spit it out? I think I want to see this, but I don't want to do it here. Let's go somewhere else. Oh, that was fun. Let's go find what else is in our mystery box. Whoa. I don't know what you call this, but I've seen them before. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now I'll put my hand on this side. And all the little nails come through so you can see my hand on that side. It makes a cool imprint, Blaster. Here, Blaster, you want to try to imprint your face? Okay, here we go. How does it look, Blaster? Uh, kind of okay. I think you're too big. Let me try my face. Uh, do you see my mouth and my nose? Yeah, kind of. Well, this is fun. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Anything can be music blaster. I don't know what you call this, but I like it a lot. And there's another musical instrument in here. Oh, cymbals. These are called cymbals. And what do you do with cymbals? You're right, blaster. 
you clank them together. Let's go. Lots of music in today's mystery box. Blaster. I see something inside the mystery box that I wasn't expecting. Inside the mystery box is another mystery box. What will be in this one? Well, it has some bells on top of it. Nice. That could also be a musical instrument. This mystery box, I bet it has a lot of fun goodies in it. It is filled with toys. Let's look at some of them. Oh, I love these. This is a sticky hand. I wonder if we can catch some of the pom-poms on the table with this sticky hand. Oh God. Here we go. I got the hand. Now I'll try to stick it. Oh, it stuck to the table blaster, but it didn't. Get one of the pom-poms. Try it one more time. No, I think it's just gonna stick to the table. It might stick to you, Blaster. You wanna try? Woo! <laughs> there you go. Nice! I got you. Don't worry. Let's see what else is in the mystery box inside the mystery box. A lot more of these squishy hands. Oh, and these. <laughs> nice, Blaster. Hmm some sort of cool egg. Whoa! This cool egg opens and turns into some sort of contraption. Wow, that'll be fun. Oh, look at this. And it looks like a snake or a caterpillar. Oh, wow. Actually, this could be a really great bracelet blaster. That's hard to say. This could be a really great bracelet blaster. <laughs> Let's see, it connects at the end just like a bracelet would. And there we go. How do I look with my bracelet? Nice. And what else do we have in here? Oh, you know what everybody loves? A little tiny slinky with a happy face on it. Let's open it up. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! These are fun, Blaster. Cool. Oh, and a little tiny animal. I don't know what type of animal this one is. Kind of looks like a salamander, or maybe it's a tiny little dinosaur. I don't know. We'll have to use our imagination on this one. What do you think this animal is? What does it look like to you? No wrong answers. Whatever you think it looks like is what it can be. Because we're using our imagination. Nice. There's another one in here. I think this one looks like, what do you think? I think this looks like a penguin. <laughs> I love penguins. Hello, I'm a little penguin. Boop, 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 boop. Nice. Oh, and I think I know what animal this is. We all know this animal. They typically move really slow and they carry their house around on their back. That's right, it's a turtle. This looks like a turtle to me. And it's really squishy and stretchy. This is a cool turtle. We have a pig that acts as a car. Go pig, go! Oh, he ran in a circle. Try again. Here, pig. Goodbye! Oh, this one likes to go in a circle. Maybe the bunny rabbit car will go in a straight line. Go, rabbit, go! Not very good. Try again. Blaster, are you laughing at me? <laughs> okay, here we go. Go, rabbit! Yeah! Nice. And finally, we have the tiger. Oh, right, he went right to the rabbit. Fun. Oh, and what are these? Do you have any guesses? <laughs> yeah, 
These are a type of bracelet called slap bracelets. And you wanna know why they call them that? Because when you put them on, you just slap them against your wrist. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got them all. One, two, three, four, five new bracelets. Blaster, the mystery box inside the mystery box was super fun. And there's even more stuff in here that we didn't get to. Well, we'll have to get to it another time. Whoa, because there's more stuff in the main mystery box. All right. What's next in the mystery box? Oh, a trophy. Trophies are given to people who do something really great. And I think you're really great. So I'm gonna give this trophy to you for being great. Blaster, this is their trophy. Here you go. We'll put it right here for you. Whoa, whoa, a big dragon blaster. This thing is cool. It has a long tail and it looks like it can breathe fire. Whoa, I love this. Another animal out of the mystery box. This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tentacles. Do you know what kind of animal it is? Yes, it's an octopus. Did you know that an octopus can fit through a tiny hole as small as their eye? That means this whole octopus can move through a tiny little space just as big as the eye on the side of their head. This makes these animals some of the coolest in the ocean. Blaster? Little help, please. Eight arms known as tentacles and a body that can change colors and seamlessly blend in with its surroundings, the octopus comes with a toolkit of very cool adaptations. One of the coolest is their ability to shoot a cloud of ink to escape predators. Predators get confused and believe that the ink cloud is the octopus. By the time the predator realizes it's an ink cloud and not the octopus, our cunning friend has swum away. There are hundreds of species of octopus, and most of them are harmless to humans. But the blue-ringed octopus is considered by many to be one of the most dangerous marine animals. This is because they carry a strong venom. Believe me, you don't want to touch one of these treacherous but beautiful ocean animals. Oh, I did not know all of that about Octopus Blaster. Very cool. What's next? Oh, a little slingshot rocket. Love it, Blaster. Let's go outside and play with this. Only a few more items left in the mystery box. Ooh, a slithering snake blaster. This was in there with the dragon. Wow, this snake is big. S snake, S snake. What letter does snake start with? That's right, an S. Oh, some cool cars, blaster. We have one of these construction vehicles. That's awesome. And a super fast yellow car. Un carro amarillo. That's how you say it in Spanish, Blaster. Un carro amarillo. Wow. You know what? I've seen a lot of cars, but I haven't seen a lot of construction vehicles. Can we go see these guys in action? Okay, let's go. Construction vehicles are powerful machines that are used in a variety of different ways. 
they can clear land. Break up rocks. Construct buildings. And transport large objects. Let's check out the excavator. One cool thing about excavators is that instead of tires, they roll around on treads. Now, if you need help constructing something high in the sky, look toward the crane. This crane is helping construct a tall building. You may have noticed construction vehicles get dirty. Watch this bulldozer dig through dirt, sand, and mud. Which construction vehicle was your favorite? Whoa! Maybe one day we'll get to go drive our very own construction vehicle blaster. Oh, a Triceratops. Oh, a Stegosaurus. Oh, a Pterodactyl. Oh, a Brachiosaurus. And Blaster, what is this one called? Oh, a Pachycephalosaurus. These had really strong heads. Blaster, I already know about these dinosaurs, so can we go learn about this dinosaur? Cool, here we go. You can call this dinosaur a bona fide bonehead. The skull of a Pachycephalosaurus was 10 inches thick. Some scientists believe they used their strong skulls to headbutt one another, kind of like this. The Pachycephalosaurus lived about 65 million years ago. And guess which dinosaur was also living at that time? That's right, it's the Tyrannosaurus Rex. But even with really strong heads, if you were a Pachycephalosaurus, you still wouldn't want to have a face-off with a T-Rex. That's a battle you're definitely going to lose. The Pachycephalosaurus didn't eat other dinosaurs. Instead, it is believed to have eaten plants, nuts, and berries. This Pachycephalosaurus is so cool, Blaster. Thanks for teaching us. Well, I don't think there's anything left in the mystery box. There is. Blaster, there isn't. I'm looking in here. Look again. Okay. Oh, you are right. There is a green box in here. But what do I do with this? Yeah, I see the handle. Crank it. All right. What am I doing this for? I don't get this blast. Ow! <laughs> ba -ba blast. <laughs> Parents, are you looking for Baba -ba Blast swag, merch, and products, and a way to help out the channel? Well, visit babablast.com and shop our shop. That's right, Blaster. Thanks for your support. It's another Baba -ba Blast mystery box. Blaster, these are my favorite. What do we got today? Huh? Whoa! There's lots of cool stuff in here. Like this big red snake blaster. Wow, look at it. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Slithering away. Look at them slither, slither. The snake slithers. I love snakes. I'd like to go see some snakes in their natural habitat. What about you, Blaster? Okay, here we go. Blaster, let's dive down to the ocean and check out some sea snakes. These snakes spend their lives in and around salt water. They come in lots of different colors. Hey Blaster, true or false? These sea snakes have learned to anchor themselves to the sandy bottom. Well, that'd be false. They actually aren't a type of snake at all, Blaster. I gotcha. These are actually known as garden eels, and they are a type of fish. Hey, Blaster, does that earn us our snake card? 
Awesome. Snakes are super superb. <laughs> Let's see what else is in the mystery box. Oh, look, Blaster. The mystery box has a Baba Blast t-shirt. That's awesome. Thanks to everyone who goes to babablast.com and picks up one of the t-shirts. It helps us make these videos. Awesome, Blaster. Whoa, look at this. It's an eagle. But this eagle can do something cool. If you take your finger and place the beak of this eagle right on the tip of your finger. Ta-da! Perfect balance, I love it. Remember when we went to the lake and saw those eagles? Well, eagles are pretty cool, but do you know the fastest animal in the world? It's also a bird. It's not an eagle, it's a peregrine falcon. Let's see them in action. You wouldn't win a race against a peregrine falcon. They can reach a top speed of 242 miles per hour. The peregrine falcon is a type of... That's right, it's a type of falcon. <laughs> Falcons have a sharp tooth at the very tip of their strong beak. They also use their nails, called talons, to catch their prey. Hey, Blaster, we definitely earned our falcon card. Falcons, eagles, all amazing to me. Here, eagle, you can balance right there. Oh, speaking of animals, look at this shark. And it has a little twisty thing on the bottom. And if you twist it, one, two, three, four, five, it swims. There it goes. Nice. I wonder how well this would swim in the water. Should we try it out? All right, let's go. Oh, Blaster, this is a perfect place for us to try out this new shark toy. Let's try it. One, two, oh, it's ready to swim. Three, four, five. All right, let's see what happens when we put it in the water. Go, shark. All right, he's moving, he's moving, he's moving. Not the fastest shark, but he's trying as hard as he can. I got you, Mr. Shark. Very nice. Now this part of the shark is called the what? That's right, the dorsal fin. And guess what this tail is called? That's right, just its tail. That was perfect. Sometimes things aren't so hard. Let's go back to the mystery box. Let's see what else is in the mystery box. Oh. Do you know what these are called? It has two words. A magnifying glass. Magnifying glass. This helps make things look bigger when you look through it. Whoa, you look really big. What about you, Blaster? There you go. Here's what it looks like when you look through a magnifying glass. Nice, now you know. Oh, we all love dinosaurs. Dinos are some of my favorite animals. And look what this one does, Blaster. You put your hand in it, and then you can move it like this. Blaster, I'm going to eat you. Blaster, just kidding. We're just ma playing make-believe. Cool dinosaur puppet. Goodbye. Oh, speaking of dinosaurs, look at this one, Blaster. It looks like a triceratops, but its arms seem different. Whoa. Come on, arm. Come on. There it is. I think if you take this, yeah, it sticks right on your arm. Oh, until it doesn't. It gave me a nice little hug. Thanks, Triceratops. Fun. Hey, this one needs to be put back together. Let's see if we can guess what kind of animal this is. Any guesses? Maybe a cheetah? I don't know. What about if we add some legs to it? There we go. Any guesses now? Maybe some more legs will help. Oh, I think I know what it is. Do you know? I think you'll get it once we put the last piece together. That's right, it's a giraffe. 
the longest necks in the world. Incredible. Let's go see some giraffes in action. What do we need to know to win our giraffe card blaster? Ah, good idea. Okay, here we go. Do you know how long a giraffe's tongue is? Is it A, seven inches, B, 14 inches, or C, 20 inches? It's C. A giraffe's tongue can reach a length of 20 inches. All right, Blaster, giraffe card, please. I think my favorite part of the giraffe isn't the neck, but their awesome tongue. Very cool, Blaster, thanks. Speaking of animals, I got another one for you. C-O-W, that's how you spell cow. C-O-W, wow, wow, wow. Nice, I love cows. We get lots of stuff from cows, and one of them, you got it, milk. Yum. Hey, I don't know what kind of animal this is. What is this? Looks like a armadillo or a ant eater, but it's not. Blaster, let's go learn what these animals are. What are these, Blaster? Let's spell it. P-A-N-G-O-L-I-N. Oh, it's a pangolin. Pangolins are often referred to as scaly anteaters because like anteaters, pangolins eat using their sticky tongue. Blaster, what's with all the talk about tongues lately? <laughs> what's the pangolin card look like? Ooh, nice Blaster, awesome. We've covered a lot of animals like this one, but there's so many other things that we can use to find animals out in the open, like these binoculars. Like a magnifying glass, this allows you to see things that are far away. Wow, I can see all over. Blaster, I'm sorry. Here you go. Hello over there, you look really close. Thanks for the binoculars, Blaster. What a fun mystery box. What is this next item? Oh, it's a circle and it has four letters around it. The first one is N. The second one is E, the third one is S, and the fourth one is W. I know what this is, Blaster. This is called a compass. And when you put it flat, it will tell you which direction is where. These will be great if we're on the hunt for some animals. Cool compass, Blaster. Hey, this doesn't look like anything to do with animals, but it's really fun. It's a little grabber. So if something's far away, let's see if I can grab, I think I'm gonna try to grab this dinosaur puppet. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I did it, the grabber works. There you go, dino. Let's see if I can grab the giraffe head. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> what about now? Oh, so close. There, we got it! Oh, I think the giraffe is too heady, heavy, but the dinosaur puppet is the perfect weight. Nice. Wow, we have a few more items in the mystery box. Hey, what is this? A telescope? I don't think it's a telescope blaster. No, in fact, it's a kaleidoscope. Now you can't see in here exactly, but Blaster, can you show them what a kaleidoscope looks like when you look through it? Awesome, check this out guys. Kaleidoscopes are really fun. We can use this later. There's only a few items left. I can't wait to see the next one. Hey, another dinosaur head, but this is a finger puppet. This one allows you to move the tongue up and down and all around. Hey, this could be fun to play with. Hello, thank you for watching Ba Ba Blast. Have a great day. <laughs> I'm just being goofy.
One of the largest animals in the world is the white rhino. Look how big their horn is at the front of their nose. Hey, Blaster, you know what I want. Let's go check out some rhinos. Hey, Blaster, you know, the white rhino kind of reminds me of hippos. Yeah, those. But did you know that one white rhino can weigh as much as five hippos? <laughs> That's more than 5,000 pounds. This means the white rhino is the largest of all the rhinos. This is going to be a cool card blaster, I can tell. Whoa! There's only one item left in the mystery box. What is it going to be? A big one? A small one? Here we go! Oh, it's a tiny one. It's a little slap bracelet. But this isn't just any slap bracelet. This has a whole bunch of kitty cats on this side. Gray ones, orange ones, white ones. Aw, very cute. But it also on the other side has a ruler. Awesome. Blaster, I've never measured you. How big are you? Blaster is 12 inches. Oh, <laughs> do you see that? It flipped out with, I wasn't even finished with it. 12 inches plus Six inches is 18 inches. That's how big you are, Blaster. 18 inches. <laughs> this is a tricky bracelet, but I think I figured it out. Nice. Now it looks perfect. Well, that was a fun mystery box. See you on the next one. Bye.